Hey guys, I'm a certified Suzuki violin teacher and in today's video we're going to be discussing if you can learn the violin online. Now the answer is yes, but I'm going to walk you through some of the pros and cons of learning this way. Before we dive too deep into this video, I just want to say that everyone's situation is different. So while there are advantages and disadvantages to learning this way, this might be the perfect option for some people and it might not be the best option for others. So keep that in mind as you watch this video. All right, let's start with the advantages of learning with the pre-made online videos. So I'm talking YouTube videos, Udemy, all those course websites that have pre-made videos of instruction to teach you how to play violin. These are a really great option first because they're free most of the time. If you're doing it on YouTube, they are. Or if you're buying it from a course website, it's really cheap compared to what you would be paying for private instruction. So that's awesome. The other great thing about online videos that are pre-made is that you can go at your own pace. So maybe you have a lot of extra time this month and you want to get started on your violin, but then next month you don't really have any time, work's going to ramp up, and then you're free for another couple weeks, you can work on it again. If that's your schedule, it might be best to use these pre-made videos. Another advantage to learning online is you have so many resources and so many people and professionals that have put out some really great work out there. So that's nice to have free quality information just right at your fingertips. Let's talk about the downsides to learning the violin online. First, you have to know that with the pre-made videos, you're not getting constant and reliable feedback. That's the great thing about going to an in-person or a private instructor is that you're going to be constantly be getting some constructive feedback on how to improve and the feedback is going to be very specific and direct whereas the pre-made videos will just show you how to do it and you kind of have to figure it out on your own. So if you're having an issue with your tone or maybe your fingering isn't sounding quite right, it's going to be a little more difficult and probably more time consuming to figure that out through the videos than it would be if you were just taking from a private teacher. The other thing to consider is that when you just watch the videos and teach yourself, sometimes you can form bad habits if you're not doing exactly as the teacher is telling you to do. So my suggestion for this is to practice a lot in the mirror or record yourself playing so that you can really see what your bow hold is looking like while you play, what your wrist looks like, what your fingerings look like. It's really hard to, well, number one, you can't really watch your bow hold as you play and your fingers and your wrists, everything at the same time. So that's why the mirror is helpful and that's why a private instructor can be helpful. But if you are willing to hold yourself accountable and just be really honest with yourself, whether you're doing exactly what the teacher asks or not, then you will progress and you will get good at the violin. One other downside you have to know about is that because there are so many resources out there, sometimes it can get a little confusing and your progress might not be as easy to track. If you're switching between curriculums and teachers and everything, pick a curriculum and stick with it for a while. So obviously I recommend Suzuki because I teach Suzuki. That technique builds on itself naturally, but if you find another method that you really like or you find a teacher that you really like, then stick with that teacher for a while and be as consistent as you can. And then you'll be able to see your progress a lot more clearly. Okay, so to summarize, the two main advantages to taking online violin and teaching yourself with pre-made videos is number one, a lot of the resources are totally free, which is awesome for your budget. Number two is you get to go at your own pace. So if you've got a really busy work schedule or an unpredictable schedule, and it's just better for you to do it in your free time that you get spontaneously, then this is a great way to go. Keep in mind that if you are going to learn violin on your own with these pre-made videos, you're going to need to be very precise and accountable with yourself to make sure that you are doing the things that the teacher asks you to do and practicing in the mirror will really help with that or with a recording. One other reminder is to pick a curriculum and stick with it for a while so that you can see your progress. 
I hope this video was helpful. If it was, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please comment down below and I will see you in the next video.